What's up? I'm Hutch, and you need to understand ground reaction forces. And this one's really just so that you can pass the NPTE. So this is a lot of physics, but I'm going to simplify as much as I can. Basically, as you walk, the ground sends a force up your leg. This is called a ground reaction force, and this causes your joints to bend in a certain direction. So looking at the hip, if the angle of that ground reaction force is in front of the hip, it's going to cause the hip to flex or bend. And the ground reaction force is also called an external moment. Now at any given time, your muscles produce a counter force called an internal moment. And this is both to control how much that ground reaction force affects you and allow you to keep moving forward in gait. So we're gonna take a quick look at the ground reaction force and the movement that it produces. And just remember again that your muscles are going to produce a counter force to each of these ground reaction forces. At heel strike, these forces cause hip flexion, knee extension, and plantar flexion. In flat foot, they cause hip flexion, knee flexion, and plantar flexion. At mid stance, they cause hip extension, knee extension, and dorsiflexion. At heel off, they cause hip extension, knee flexion, and dorsiflexion. And that's the same for toe off as well. Honestly, I probably wouldn't memorize any of this stuff, but it's good to understand the terminology and the idea behind it. Usually these movements that are produced by the ground reaction force are the movements that you will see during a normal gait pattern. Just remember that your muscles are trying to control and slow down how much the ground is causing those forces to happen and allow you to keep moving forward during gait. And these forces are only seen during the stance phase of gait because the foot is in contact with the ground during that phase. Now it's time for NPT Jeopardy. Pause the video now if you want time to read and think about the question. Otherwise, you've got five, four, three, two, one. This is the application of ground reaction forces. The quadriceps will normally produce a flexion moment at the knee during this phase of gait. Because it's weakened, the flexion moment is not strong enough to overcome the ground reaction forces external extension moment or really combat it or control it in any way. The trunk lean will help counteract this and continue the forward progression. Hopefully that covers all of our bases. If not, you can always check out the description box below for a link to my notes on Etsy. Otherwise, comment with questions or suggestions for videos I should do in the future. Good luck studying. Go change the world.